Hello, my sexy muffins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we are doing male listener nanny for Brahms as the Yandere Hellshire, and basically you are his nanny as a male listener. Any female listeners can listen to if they so wish. I will not stop you. We do not gatekeep around here. Anyways, so this is the rough thing. You're going to be taking the place, basically, of the nanny position. And what would have happened if you were in the situation and he was yandere for you? And all that good stuff. Anyways, let's do this. Disclaimer. Brahms Hillshire is not yandere and can, and this is just for fun and not to be taken seriously at all. Simping for fictional characters and fictional yandere's is fine. Just do not be illegal or gross about it. And remember to separate fiction from reality and head canon from canon. Yandere's are not ideal partners to have in real life. Fun girl. And also, slasher characters like any from the horror genre are not good partners to have, even if they weren't Yandere in real life, because they are serial killers and murderize people. Anyways, yes. So this is just for fun and not to be taken seriously. Please separate fiction from reality. Thank you. Anyways, let's do this. Your name was Walken to the manor. Well, not to the manor. was walking out of the taxi or cabbie and from that and into the manor. He knocked on the door and was let in by an older woman. Mrs. Hillshire, he assumes. Hello, Mrs. Hillshire. It's a pleasure to meet you. He says to... Am I saying he says or you says? Uh, I'll go with you says. Uh, you say to her, and she smiles at you. What a lovely gentleman. I was a bit hesitant getting a male nanny for my son, she says, walking into the room and to the entryway with you, and you set down your bags. Uh, I know that you wanted a female, but I am very well, uh, uh, well, read into the subject of ch children's development, you tell her, and she nods her head. Yes, your resume spoke for itself, she says, and leads you to a sit-in room where music was playing. Uh, this is my son, Brahms, she says, and you walk in front of the chair and see a doll. Okay, this was definitely odd. And she looks at you. Well, say hello, she says. You nod your head and say hello, leaning down and shaking his hand. Whatever, it, the pay was good and you had room and board and you really needed the room and board. So you were not going to complain. Hello, Brahms. It's very nice to meet you. She nods. You have to speak clearly and in a loud voice, she says to you. You nod your head and stand up. So, what is my interview process like, you ask her? You will be running through Brahms' schedule, and we will see if you are a good fit for Brahms. And that is what you did. You went through the schedule doing just as she asked, and as she asked. You were followed her instructions to T, and she was very impressed with you. But the question was, would Brahms be just impressed with you as she was? And that was the true test. So she went to speak to Brahms, who had been watching you and could not take his eyes off you. She walks into the uh, hidden room and looks at him, seeing him watch you from between the boards. Brahms, what do you... I want him, Brahms said firmly. And she stops. That was a new thing. Of course, son, he will be yours, she says, not even questioning why his tone was different. He did not say anything, continued to stare at you through the boards. As she went back out to see you, she speaks smiling happily. Brahms has decided that you are a perfect fit. You found that a bit odd, but you weren't going to say anything on it. And so Mr. Hellshire showed you around and started to tell you how to keep the mansion clean of vermin and such that you were worried that Mrs. Hellshire was worried she would, they would get into the walls more worried about that Brahms would 
probably leave a pile of dead rodents. As the day continues, you are settled in and would be saying goodbye to Mr. and Mrs. Hellshire the next morning. You went to bed feeling like you were being watched. It was odd. Ever since you got into here, you felt like you were being watched. It was a little uncomfortable, to say the least. The fact was, you were being watched. You were being watched by Brahms Hellshire, who has lived in the walls for so many years. His parents hid in him away when he unalived that little girl when he was a child. They could not face what reality of a monster that their son has become. Nanny after nanny had been uh, taken care of and gotten rid of by Brahms himself. They were figuring you would be something new for him to play with. They were not planning on coming back. Not at all. They were not going to risk coming back to this house. They were too guilty of how much blood is on their hands. He, they went to bed uneasy while Brahms watched you sleep. Once you were tired enough as he had put a little something into your water that you drank before bed without you noticing and knew you would be dead asleep. He creeps into the room and watches you from above, watching you and his hand gently strokes down and strokes your cheek. Your skin was so soft. You were such a handsome man and he wanted to have you. He wanted to kiss you. He wanted to be intimate with you. He wanted all of that and more and he would have it. He takes off the mask for a brief second then leans down, kissing you on the lips. It was chaste and innocent, but he wanted more. He had to pull himself away. He could wait for that. He would have all the time in the world. He was not going to let you go. He was not going to make any more mistakes. You were going to be his, no matter what. He climbed into bed with you and wrapped his arms around you, pulling you close to your chest, you close to his chest. He wanted to hold you for the night, and since you were good and drugged, he was able to hold you, stroking your hair and smelling your scent. The sweet scent that was sweet but also smelled like the pines and a little musk. It was intoxicating to him, and he wanted to consume it. He wanted to wrap himself in it. He wanted to be everything and everyone for you. He wanted you to be his now. But he had to wait. He had to be a good boy for you. Because the once he had you as his, he was not going to let you go. You would never be able to leave this house. You would be his forever and ever. He would make sure of it. You were dreaming of someone holding you. It felt like you were being smothered, being gripped so tight that it was hard to breathe in your dreams. You didn't know that you were being held by a murderer. That you were being wrapped in his arms so close to death and so close to being owned by a madman you were unaware it was maddening you hear in your sleep briefly someone say you are mine and then you drifted off into a deeper sleep once more you did not know who said that or why you dreamt that but he said it brahm said it and said you would be his because you would be his you will be mine, your name, he says, and kisses you once more and pulls away from you. He could not risk you getting up. It had been hours of him holding you, but he did not want to risk getting caught. Not yet, at least. Not until he's sure that he can make you his forever and ever. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this. Uh, as usual, if you would like to this video... Uh, think about liking or subscribing so you are notified of other things. This is going to be a mini-series, at least a three-part mini-series. And the next part I am probably going to be doing where he starts to leave love notes for you and starts to get really, really stalkery on you. Like, oh my god, he is going to be very stalkery, as Brahms is a very stalkerish, even in his own home, yandere type, and all that good stuff. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this. If you would like to see more, comment below that you would like to see more. And if there's any ideas you want to see in this mini-series, comment it below, and I will do my best to do it and all that good stuff. Thank you Anyways, thank you, Gav, for being my patron, my first patron. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are wonderful. You are beautiful. You are stunning. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you, Wicked Brony, for being my second patron. You are wonderful. You are beautiful. You are just as stunning as Gav. And you are a chef's kiss. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this. And again, if you'd like to see more, if there are there or if there is anything else you want to see in this, comment it below and I will do my best to do it. Also, remember at the end of the video will be the playlist for this, most likely, and the playlist for all my other horror slasher creepy stuff for you to check out. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed. It's the sexy, oh my sexy muffins. Bye-bye!